Donald Trump's victory in the US presidential election has raised fresh questions about Prince Harry's future in the United States. Riley Sullivan is a reporter here at skynews.com.au and he's always across the latest headlines from the royal family. Riley, great to see you. Great to be here. President-elect Donald Trump has previously made it clear that he's no fan of the Sussexes. So what could this mean for Prince Harry's residency in the US? Yeah, I mean, you know, this is one of the big questions now that Harry and Meghan are going to have to deal with. Of course, Donald Trump is going to be back in the office, um, back in office, that is, and, and he's made it clear, you know, that he's not a fan of Harry. He was asked several months ago, would you deport Harry? Because, of course, this all hinges on Harry's admissions in the past in his book Spare about taking drugs, which mm. in some cases can actually disqualify you from permanent residency or citizenship. And Trump said then he's not going to protect Harry. More recently, Eric Trump has said it's not a priority, you know, we don't really care about Harry. But, um, you know, reportedly, I mean, I don't think it would be a surprise to learn that, that Harry and Meghan are already taking precautionary steps because, you know, whether Donald Trump makes good on his claim that he could deport them or not, of course this does throw into doubt their plans. Yeah. Um, and some people even think that their recent purchase of a property in Portugal, which is a holiday home, could be their sort of preemptive way of, of having a second base in case, um, in case Trump does actually deport Harry. I don't think that, that that's out of the realm of possibility. I think that they're probably making a backup plan just in case he means business. Oh, that's interesting. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Buckingham Palace has confirmed that Queen Camilla will take a short break from royal duties due to a chest infection. Mm -hmm. What's been the reaction to the news that the Queen's unwell? Yeah, I mean, sad news for Camilla, obviously. We just saw her here in Australia a couple of weeks ago for the royal tour. She was in great health, you know, filling in the days of the engagements. I mean, it was just a massive tour. Um, and she's back home in the UK and unfortunately she's unwell. I think everyone in the UK probably took a collective breath when they, when they saw the headlines because, you know, there's been so many shocks to the royal family this year in terms of health. Mm. Of course, King Charles and Princess Catherine both diagnosed with cancer. Luckily, you know, this isn't that serious. Buckingham Palace has said that it is just a pretty mild chest infection, but still, you know, Camilla's going to be out of action for the time being. Um, and, yeah, definitely wishing her a speedy recovery. There's so many health scares for members mm. of the royal family, wishing them all well. Mm. There's also been some major updates in King Charles' ongoing battle to evict his brother, Prince Andrew, out of the royal lodge. Could the Duke of York end up staying in the home after all? I mean, this is, you know, such a fascinating story. It's been over a year now that... Charles has reportedly been trying to evict Prince Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson out of Royal Lodge. Supposedly the home is, is decaying inside. I heard a report recently that even though they've done some work on the exterior recently to kind of keep it up to standard, um, it's just sort of all kind of falling apart because it's this huge property. It's something like 30 bedrooms. Wow. You know, one of the sort of showcase properties of the royal family. And, and, and it was fine, I think, when Andrew was a working royal and, and had the money and the funds coming in to, to maintain the home, but he really doesn't. I mean, mm. the fact of the matter is he is living in disgrace. He doesn't get any kind of allowance from his brother anymore. So there's really no money. You know, there's questions how are they going to stay here. But reportedly Andrew has insisted to King Charles that he will come up with the money. He thinks that he's going to use some of his business contacts from his time as a trade envoy for the UK to somehow bring in money to fund the home. It's all quite opaque at the moment, but um, Andrew's committed to staying in Royal Lodge is the latest. OK. And Prince William, he's currently in a four-day tour of South Africa, where the future king met up with Australia's own Robert Irwin. What do we know about Will and Robert's catch-up? You know, I love these two together. I just think, you know, two two icons, obviously, the future king, the Prince of Wales, and then Aussie, Aussie icon, Aussie royalty, Robert Irwin. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, they've been working together now for a little while. Uh, Robert is an ambassador for William's Earthshot Prize charity, which is all about the environment and engaging people on, on new approaches to tackling climate change and protecting the environment. And um, he invited Robert along to his trip in trip in South Africa. Um, they caught up and, and again, the, what was on the agenda was talking about conservation. Um, they went for a walk in a, a national park well, together I, in South probably, Africa. Yeah, they met we're... rangers. You know, I just think it's it's such a great uh, partnership between William and Robert mm. and and just great to see. It's It goes to show that, you know, William really does have a master touch when it comes to choosing ambassadors and choosing people to partner up with that he knows um, resonate with the public. Riley Sullivan, so great to speak with you. Thank you so much. Thank you.